you support a ceasefire? And if not, why not? Well, I don't know how you can have a ceasefire, permanent ceasefire with an organization like Hamas. Bernie Sanders has been a hawk for decades, and this is just him showing his true colors once again. In the late 1990s, Bernie supported Clinton's bombing campaign in Kosovo, and even had protesters arrested who called him out for it. In 2003, he famously voted against invading Iraq, but then he supported numerous funding bills that kept the war going once it started. In 2011, Bernie co-sponsored Senate Resolution 85, which called for the resignation of Gaddafi in Libya, and paved the way for the no-fly zone and disastrous intervention that inevitably followed. In 2014, Bernie didn't object to having his name included by unanimous consent in a bill voicing support for Israel's summer war in Gaza. In 2021, he supported torture apologist Avril Haines as Biden's pick for intelligence director, former Raytheon board member Lloyd Austin as Biden's pick for defense secretary, and Bernie supported Libya war cheerleader Antony Blinken as Biden's secretary of state. In early October of 2023, Code Pink protesters were arrested while occupying Bernie's office to speak out against his support for war in Ukraine. And in early November, protesters were once again arrested for demonstrating in his office over his refusal to call for a ceasefire in Gaza. Considering all the ways Bernie has made it clear over the years that he doesn't actually care about peace, his unwillingness to support a ceasefire in Gaza really isn't all that surprising.